Hey, here's Joe again, and welcome back to Neo 2, where we started exploring in the first level, and I got overwhelmed by a lot. I mean a lot. I mean a really lot of mechanics at the same time. And yeah, let's try to uh, fight our way through this. While I attempt to be less stupid. It's another shortcut gate. Why are there so many shortcut gates here? Uh, out of breath already. See how you like this. There's such a lot of shortcuts here. I am hoping that I'll be finding everything. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Not very stealth friendly. But that guy can go around. Immediately aggroing. This looked like intractable, but it isn't. Okay, let's go this way first. Okay, back to the big bad guy where we also can't go. We need to defeat the big bad guy when... Uh, to to open those gates. Okay, this is the shortcut if we want to fight the big bad guy again. Why can't we open that gate? We couldn't open it from both sides. Ah, okay, if we had defeated that guy, we would have gotten a key to unlock that gate. I assume. That's how it works. Okay. There's a Kodama around here somewhere. Okay. All enemies immediately aggro, so uh, sneaking is basically out of the... Not an option. I'll take them out in one go before they know what's hit them. Great. Great. Haraki Resort to kill yourself. This looks uh, like the color the Kodama thingies had in the last game. Oh! I just didn't see it. Also, good. That's fine. I'm just blind. Okay. It was on the compass. It was to be seen on the compass. Okay. So many options, paths. I like this level already because it's so complicated. Okay. Okay. Trying to look around here. We went through there. 
should have kicked the uh, the ladder before jumping down. Okay, tried my new super attack. The problem with randomized loot in source likes is I don't care. Like I loot a whole loot pinata and all I do is uh yeah, press B ten times to pick it up and then ignore the crap out of everything uh, that dropped there. Because why the hell would I care? Because it's just randomized, yet it might be better. But around the next corner, there might be just better stuff. Because it's fucking random. Why didn't I pick this up earlier? So, to go on top of the buildings again, we go this way. And we can unlock the shortcut. Trying to see enemies down there that we may drop onto. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, more heavy stuff. Don't know whether thingy f finally works. Uh, network connection. Forget your belongings. Just get out of here. Go. go, go. It does tell us now how to use the elixir. How stupid. Okay, let's go upstairs again. Don't like the hole to confirm to climb. And we couldn't go over to that building, yeah? Yeah, okay, we need to go this way. What is that blue stuff over there? Whatever, we're gonna try. to jump down to enemies here. What is that? So that is something new. So what a freak is you? Okay. Oh, this looks like this cold sword thing. Request assistance. Oh. We need two Shoko cups. Why do we need multiple uh, co-op items no for one assistance? Use to the fallen samurai. So may this token aid you in your pursuit of justice. Okay. <laughs> First bandit. And now monsters? <laughs> this really is the end. Okay, uh, we could summon assistance for that yokai realm there. 
Nobody in here. My love. Our baby. Have we had any elixir pickups? Don't really remember one. Oh, it's B to climb, not A to climb. A is so much. A is so much feels like the, the button associated to up movement. And B doesn't feel like an interaction button at all, just because that's how games usually used to work. Okay. He dropped. Giving me access to this. We are above the Yoka Ram now. Fuck you. We're just spamming the shit out of them. There's another one downstairs. Not certain whether I like what options I'm having here. Just wanting to check whether I can cut that rope to do something, but no, there's nothing there that helps here. I think with my low amount of healing items, one of the best options I have, while well, there's a Kodama right here apparently. Oh, yeah. One of my best options to actually uh, take the bitter pill and summon help. Still no elixirs. Fucking hell, I got the extra elixir drop right. And it doesn't help. Okay, let's summon a helper. And hope that it helps to have a helper. Yeah, that's an NPC. Yeah, for obviously that's an NPC, but... Wrong button! Use last elixir. I pressed A to get him out of that Yoka Ram. Turn around and fight him. Okay, then get killed by him. If you think that's your better option. Elixirs! Hell yeah! That was really good. But no uh, soul thingy this time around. Fucker, that thing is opened. But this, the blue dot on the compass from the treasure sen uh, sense that was sh showing up before. Okay, so we got this guy, and we have 
this. This looks like a Kodama. And we get our shortcut. So. Ah! You take on bandits, fiends. Just who in the world are you? Please, spare my life. Wait, here, take this and leave me be. You got a lantern plant fruit, okay? <laughs> Don't. Lantern plant fruit. What? Probably here? No. Uh, where else? Probably not here. Okay. Uh, this is so, like, there's so much going on with every little tiny weapon upgrade thing, everything. I just, I'm just looking whether the arrow points up. Special effects are blocked because we don't have the requirements for that one. Ah, uh, okay. So we can't take the Yuriki Curus. Okay. We have a longbow now. And we got worse we That spear is really good. That switch glaive is really good. Why? It's not that much better and we're about... I think we're about to reach the first familiarity bar with uh, the thing which will upgrade the damage. I think. Lantern plant fruit. Used to increase your enema. Okay, we don't need that. Just to, to upgrade the Anima Gorge so we can use the transformation faster that I never use and should have used against many of the enemies. Small spirit stones, travel unit, everything is... You lose Amrita and return to your shrine, yeah. That's the, the dark sign equivalent. Okay. Learn skills. We get more switch glaive. Why don't we... How do we get Omnio magic points? Uh, we could go for the parry. Left bumper and Y for parry. Follow up another attack by switching the switch glaive into glaive form, moving down enemies in your surroundings. These are good. What does this lead to? Only usable when your weapon is sheathed. Anisha's, uh, Anisha's uh, sudden thrust in, at the enemy with the switch glaive in glaive form. Form a follow-up in scythe form and in guillotine form. Hold R, B, and B. Okay. I like those attacks when changing stance. That's really good. Why after quick attack? Oh, quick attack gets... That's the combo thing. So I can use quick attack and then heavy attack to have a, a quick heavy combo going. I think I'm gonna go with the option to parry. Nah, let's, let's, let's give this a combo. So... Okay, let's open our shortcut. I'm pretty certain we explored every nook and cranny in that part, so we're fine to continue. That's good. We still... The only thing we still didn't do is defeat the big guy. Which we don't really need to fight any enemies to go get back to when we're there. And we have our um, Anima Gorge full. 
So let's go and fight the big guy with uh, the help of uh, Gosaku the Pilgrim. I assume he will disappear once uh, once we uh, sit at the shrine. Wait for him to also come down? Okay. That's the wrong button. Okay. Wrong button. Push it! I was mid dodge. Friend has died? I don't think we can do this. Uh, yes! Thank for the permas done. Gozuki. He's done. I don't like that. Okay, let's get all the stuff back. I thought we might be good enough for that now, but we aren't. Uh, okay, we s always start with four elixirs now. Uh, equipment, soul core drop rate, elixir drop rate, material. Okay, elixir drop rate is the thing we we keep at with this. Okay. Try getting this guy off the edge again. And then running here before he recognizes that I'm here. Oh. And get our stuff back. I assume this guy gives some big rewards. Whatever, we go back to our shrine and we'll have to return to that guy at a later point once we understand how the fight against him works. Usually all the guys have like a specific, um, a specific combo or specific strategy that works really well with them. Okay, and we can level up once. Um... How do we get magic points? Samurai skill. How do we get Onmyo magic points? Oh, it was from pickups, I think. Whatever. Let's go more magic. Did we, did we get any points? No. Using item, shooting, blah, blah, blah. Press right trigger while holding right, uh, left trigger, yeah, 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 normal and special ammo, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, we don't care about the ranged options, I mean. Hello, friend. I equipped a longbow. Is there still the extra point? Yeah, okay. They didn't, like, they let me change the rarity of the items, but they didn't let me uh, change the rest of the UI to freaking see something. Like, this is so... whatever. Whatever. Just wanted to check headshot damage is good with that one. Okay, whatever. Let's continue exploring.
We already saw that there's a guy upstairs there. Divine rise can be traded. Try to break a stance with that. Which is not easy with low stance attacks. Chivalrous Yoshinosuke. I will abstain from fighting those until I get a better feeling with the game. Some fists. And then that guy that we saw before. Of course both of them aggro at the same... They don't even both aggro, just the behind guy aggro's for some reason. Okay, you come. Yeah. I'm just spamming right now. At some point, we will be uh, choosing a playstyle that is more like with thinking about how attacks should be chained together with key pulses in between and everything, but for now, spamming works fine. Fuck you. Die. And now you up there, I want you to die too. Thank you. Send the arrows to the storehouse, yes. Okay, arrows are maxed now. What the? Are you okay? A cat? It's running against my legs. That's something new. That's not a Kodama, that's something new. It does something. Okay, it does something. It gave me a buff. Wait. Normally there's a message when we found our Kodama. I should look at the compass more often, because I could have missed that easily. Yoka Ram bullshit, okay. What? Okay. Why do I feel? So weak. Is it this strange darkness? Let's read up on that in the tutorial section. What the fuck just happened? The Dark Realm is the profoundly mysterious, sinister yet beautiful realm within which yokai dwell. Yokai draw power from the shadowy realm, becoming ever more fearsome within its borders. In human form, you will see your key recovery decrease dramatically but gain anima faster while in the dark realm. You will also be able to inflict greater damage on the key limits of enemy yokai. To disperse the dark realm, only one, only, one only needs to destroy the creature whose impure energy generates it. And the cat has gone away, the weird cat. Okay. Do shrines work? The unnatural laws governing the key of yokai are beyond human understanding. Should you use certain skills to shatter their bodies, the source of their key will follow. Seems to have been defiled. And seems to be locked, okay. It, that 
Memory was supposed to tell uh, to tell me about shattering the horns of the big yokai that we know from the last. No paralytic stuff, please. If there's paralytic stuff present in the game, we should equip her anti-paralytic needles to left, so that we have them as an option available. How can the purity of this shrine be defiled by those bandit scum? Oh, Shoko cups. Oh, I think that yokai is which, uh, the thing which defiled this. This looks though like this is an exit way. Wrong button. Try to attack with right bumper. Sorry, have to pick up the stuff first. Okay, and back into the RAM. Game's kind of weird. My Anima Gorge is supposed to fill faster. Why doesn't it fill? I've defeated so many guys now. Box is blocked, yes? Strange force, yeah. Okay, we get a, a regular yokai. Can't go around. He doesn't seem to have friends. Stamina! Fuck you! <laughs> okay, his attacks are so slow that I'm able to uh, dodge five times in between attacks. And then get dodge caught. Okay. That's fine though, we should be able to make it back there quite fast. Oh, great, with these guys still, though. Too many guys here. Do they want to come? Or do they just want to not come? If I go here. Do they follow? They don't. Okay. Uh, didn't do the follow-up attack when I pressed it. Because I think I was at the end of the combo. Push it. Or at least it didn't paralyze Im uh, immediately. Ooh, the first time we saw a grab attack here. Like, if you can see the yokai ram spreading out of the... Uh, out of the hands of the yokai, it's a grab attack. Push it. Stamina. Oh, we we need to use more yokai ram while we uh, more your, more rock, more key pur purification while we're in here. Yeah. And again, we should use more key purification stuff while we're in here. Okay, we can get another point with the switch glaive. Why can't okay we didn't we didn't have clear the missions yet to get those. Okay, this one. Uh 
crouch down before springing upward with a swing of the switch glaive in guillotine form, completely defeating a human opponent's key with a skill will cause them to fall over. Huh? That's not spring upward. That's not how spring upward looks in my mind. A, B and X. LB and X. That's not upwards. Spring upwards. What? That should have some upwards movement. Okay. Bad guy. Trying this again. Bullshit. That grab attack had basically no pre announcement. Can I? Um, your weapon should be having a reach that is similar to your weapon length. Just roughly similar. Just for developers, if you develop games, freaking weapons should look like they reach as far as they do. Fucking hell. Nice and fast weapon, and now we do the thing again where we just run past. I mean, we could have run past the first guy also. But I think they won't ever follow us into the Yoka realms. Don't pull more than one here. That's a nice damage. What happened with my key there? He did two attacks that I didn't put in. Uh, like two attack combos that I didn't put in. And depleted his key completely because I didn't pay attention anymore. Which is of course partly my mistake. Good. Um... Almost lost all key again because of stupidity. Okay, I get my stuff back. This takes a while to, to go back to. I would just left for my Anima Gorge to be filled. And that's what we're gonna do now with that one item. This year. Use. Use to increase your anima. Oh, what? But this one I also can't use. I don't understand what anima is, apparently. I thought that would... Okay. So just do this. And go the fuck back out of here. Great. Crap. Push it. I say push it because I know I press the dodge button and then the game just decides that yes, pressing the dodge button doesn't count because no, whatever. There's just no dodge button available to you now. 
I mean, I pressed that you saw that my character dodged, but that didn't help me from, uh, yeah. I just need to figure out how this game wants me to do stuff or not. Push it. This weird movement to the side, it just completely stop you from hitting him. I hate fighting enemies against walls in any Souls game, Souls-like games, just because you so much miss just because you're like running around the corners of the map and just are glancing off everything. Okay. Okay. And this is the uh, the attempt that I win at because I have full anima gorge all of a sudden. Uh, okay, this is not the attempt that I win because I'm pitched up. Fuck you! Move like I tell you to the next time, please. Hä? Huh? What happened to my attack? The thing where I have the big metal thing in the hand, which is coming at you with force, and then it all of a sudden is completely irrelevant to you. Fuck you, game. Okay, we will yep. not... Defeat them in this attempt. I will not even try to go to activate my animal god, I think. Because we're out of Alexis. Fuck you. Okay. He will probably grab me out of the thing. Okay. Just super easy. Just have enough anima. Oh. Okay, inner shrine key. Okay. And we have a chest. And let's run out of here. There's a Kodama right there. On the other side of the gate. Oh! But there's an enemy. Let's pray at the shrine so that we don't have to run again. Level up. Magic. At some point we'll get magic and then we'll be more overpowered. And at this point we're not, of course. Okay. You know, shrine key used. Okay, this thing. I heard the second one. I think that was just weird echo. Wounded souls of this village call down divine retribution to punish these bandits. Okay, we got the last Kodama, meaning the level could be over at any moment. Okay, there's one enemy to farm Enema off. On the way there. Okay. Good. Uh, I could go through my items again. Okay, let me go through my items. This time with you. Skills. Oh, we got the samurai skill point that I apparently got. We wanted to go this way. Because we want this. Increase your key recovery speed when you perform a purification with perfectly timed key pulls. Recovering the... Yeah, okay. I want this. Damage boost magic. That's why I'm going that way. Okay, that's here. What else is here? Yokai key limits. 
The way yokai manipulate Q differs from that of humans, but should one ship away at their capacity to control Ki, a yokai will find their key reserves quickly exhausted. Yeah, for example, the key uh, thing is the horn on the head of the monkeys. Okay, equipment. Those aren't good. Oh, I can unlock that. So that I can sell it. Yeah. I uh, can unlock this so I can sell it. Because the this isn't a set item. This is a set item. These are better than mine, but we don't get the uh, benefits. That's a quality four. But we need stamina and strength for that, and we'll probably ne never get that. Okay. Anything better here? Yes! It's just a higher level than this. Plus attack and defense. Nice. Also unlock you. Then. Unlock you. Heirloom Curus. That's the heavy thing that they talked about. Okay, unlock this, good, that's how I go through my stuff, I don't even look, I just look at the, the weird thing, does it go up, then yes, uh, we are on the dual katanas, we have some better dual katanas, and then we look at the switch glaive, worse, You need to cl look closely though. So this has five less attack, which means it's actually better. Because this is full familiarity, meaning giving us a lot of bonus, but uh, this is no familiarity at all and it's just five uh, attack lower than the other one. High attack damage and low attack key consumption. I think we're changing to this one. Good. And then we're uh, just sending off everything in the offering box. That is white. And the other stuff we'll look at later. We found an elixir, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that happened in the other game too, that you just randomly got elixirs, although you didn't buy them. Sacred arrows, aha. Uh -huh. Good. We have two healer blessings, that's great, starting with two healer blessings. Release blessing. What do you mean? Ah, okay. Okay, and we wanted to look at the bazaar. There's new items here. Fleeting guardian. That summons a guardian spirit to attack your enemies. Water amulet, lightning amulet. Arrows. Which we can't buy because we're full on arrows. Uh, we can buy elixirs still or choco cups. We got anti -para Like, I will not buy anything now because the boss might require anti paralytic needles. Okay. 
So we got a bit more familiar with the game and learned about Anima being the key for to basically everything. Which doesn't help because, yeah. Like, we can't defeat anything if we don't, uh, if we are not at full anime. Okay, let's do, look at the boss one time. And we're gonna fight it truly in the next episode, unless I defeat it first try. Uh, this is where I'm supposed to uh, find the person who wrote the letter. The letter to me. But of course there is a weird monster here. With horns. Horse monster. Ludwig, the holy blade. Isn't that the same thing that was outside? It's a Mizuki. Okay. That's the wrong button to dodge. Oh, thank you for using the elixir when I press the button. That's a second Mizuki. The same thing that... Ah, uh, yeah, we don't have anything there. And I don't think we had to have a summoner scanner. Okay. Let's look at its moveset at least a tiny bit before we give up today. Oh, it automatically came to me in the boss. It does automatically come to you in boss fights. That's good to know. There's a weird stone there. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about the burst counters. It said up. It was R B and not R B and B. I don't. Yeah, R B and B sheath. I press the button. Okay, burst counters. How we de uh, uh, do this right? I want to do one burst counter. If R T and B. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Yes, of course, more button combinations that are stupid to press. Let's go in and look at this. That's a grab. Okay, and then she grabs me. That warning window for the grab attack is 0 0.2 seconds. My reaction time is 10 seconds. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to see you tomorrow with more tries at this boss. Uh, I hate it already. Okay. Have a nice day. Mm.